Hey everyone, James Niggemeyer here. Thank you for tuning back into my YouTube channel. Today I want to do an episode for my playlist, Two Bait Tuesday. And that's where I choose two baits that I feel like are applicable for the seasonal pattern or the month that we're in. And it's December, uh, less than two weeks away to Christmas. And um, there's going to be some differences in, in wherever you're located geographically. But I feel like of these two baits, they're going to be a, a great pick or great choices for most of the country. And you'll be able to use one or the other depending upon the conditions and the type of fishery that you live nearest or are frequenting the most. Before I get right into it, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and uh, drop a comment down below. I'd like to hear some feedback. Get your take, get your ideas and thoughts on these two baits for the month of December. So for these two baits, they're going to be primarily one fast and one slow or one that you wind and one that you work kind of in a horizontal or on the bottom bouncing type fashion. But also, they're going to be more relegated to uh, your shallower zones. Not that you couldn't fish either one deeper, but I feel like they both work a little bit better in your shallower zones. One of the baits is just a great bait year round. I mean, literally, you could have one tied on the deck and change your color or your trailer or work them a little bit differently based on where the fish are located in the water column and the cover and the uh, type of fishery, fishery that you're at. But you can really adjust things and tweak it a little bit to really catch fish anywhere. And that's a jig. I mean, really, we've got to have a jig coming out of the fall in towards the winter and there's a lot of different types of jigs that you could fish. You could fish a football, you could fish a finesse, you could fish kind of an archy, traditional archy type head or design that's similar to archy. This is actually the Strike King uh, skipping jig that's designed by Andy Montgomery. Great jig and I chose it because I feel like for this time of year, you still have quite a few fish relating to those docks, those deeper docks, those docks that, you know, as, as lakes have maybe been drawn down through the summer and through the fall, there's going to be some fish that are going to be relating to those outer uh, dock pilings or the outer edges of a dock. And if they're suspended up under the dock, this bait, as it's falling through the water column, you can uh, attract a fish's attention or they'll intercept it on the fall on that vertical descent. And that vertical descent is important this time of year or anytime you fish in a jig for that matter, mostly uh, a jig that you're wanting to fish along a piece of cover or below a piece of cover. Sometimes you're moving it horizontally, but for this instance, a vertical drop can be great, whether it's uh, on a pole timber or a lay down or a dock or something like that, but that vertical drop is key, or even off of a break, a creek channel bend, different things like that, or rocky type structures where, you know, you're having more of a descent or a, a faster decline in the deeper water. But the jig's great, and depending upon the water color and your sky cover, or the lack thereof, you know, I'll go with green pumpkin in your clear waters and your brighter days, and then I'm going to go with uh, a darker jig or black and blue for my off-colored situations or scenarios, but also on those darker days with more cloud cover, uh, black and blue is great, even in really clear water. So a um, couple different uh, trailer choices here. I feel like when the fish are a little bit more aggressive and in that clear water, I want something with some action, some flapping type action. If the water's on the warmer side, definitely I want the action. When it gets colder, I want something in a, in a chunk style that just falls real naturally, doesn't catch a lot of water, has kind of a bulkier presentation. When it's on the bottom, it's kind of falling slower. It's not doing this wagging and, and moving and catching a lot of water. It's just kind of a more subdued action, which is similar to what happens when the fish get in a colder environment. Everything's cold blooded. Things are gonna move more slow and that aggressive action is not gonna be as, as uh, potent as say a jig chunk. So two types of jigs, um, a green pumpkin and a more aggressive type tail action like this rage craw, gonna catch a lot of water and a jig chunk on a black and blue. Those are gonna be two jigs that I think really can you know, get a lot of work done for you and will be great to have on hand moving out of the fall and into the winter. Again, places to fish it, where? I would definitely fish this around boat docks steeper creek channel banks, 
as you wind into an area where the creek channel sweeps up against the bank and also uh, any type of uh, flooded cover, um, any type of standing timber, gonna be great on a vertical descent. Throw it out there, pitch it, let it fall on a vertical descent, on a slack line. Once it gets to the bottom, kind of work it back, let it fall again. Bites are gonna come on the fall generally. Sometimes they'll slurp it right up off the bottom around those root wads, maybe on pole timber or stump rows, different things like that. But a jig is a phenomenal bait year round and it's probably gonna get you your bigger bites. Slow and steady wins the race on the jig. And I don't typically look for a fast and furious type bite with the jig in the fall leading into the winter, but I definitely look for the quality to show up where the quantity does not, typically. The other bait that I'm gonna say, you gotta have, you gotta have a lipless. Man, you gotta have a lipless. You're coming out of that warmer, warmer water into that colder water situation or colder, colder water type conditions. That tighter vibration and those rattles like that gets the fish's attention. And one of the reasons I think the lipless is great for this time of year, because whether your fish are still stuck kind of in a holding pattern for some of the more fall type uh, patterns where fish are actually, you know, chasing bait, still doing some of those fall type things, a, a lipless crankbait in a shad pattern. I really like a gold. Gold, this is gold sexy shad or gold black back, but a gold can be really good and it's great sometimes on those brighter days, but also on those overcast days. But golds, chromes, your typical shad patterns are great. And as we move into the colder period in some places in the country where we're already there, then you're gonna go for you know your crawfish type patterns, your reds and your browns and different things like that. Change up your tunes. This one's kind of got a, a single knocker in it. And this one's more the rattles with the BBs. Sometimes they're going to prefer that and sometimes they're going to prefer that. So kind of experiment with that. Make sure that you're not leaving uh, something on the table, so to speak, and cover your bases with two types of sound patterns. And generally I'm fishing this half ounce is what I usually throw. I might throw a quarter if it's in real shallow water on flats if I'm starting to see some sort of bait fish activity or if the water or the fish are up higher in the water column I might throw that quarter ounce or if the bait fish is smaller but if the bait fish is bigger and you know maybe it's not as clear I'm gonna go with that half ounce every once in a while I'll throw that three quarter but it's generally not gonna get the knot in my boat uh, I just feel like that half ounce, I can adjust my line size and my rod direction, whether up high or kind of lower and closer to the surface of the water to get it to fall. Obviously, these sink, so it doesn't matter. Uh, you, you want, you know, if it's 10 feet of water, you can let that sink to the bottom. You can trace the bottom with these and kind of fish it near the cover and or structure that you're around. Bait fish is gonna be big on these. Obviously, any types of cover, grass is gonna be key. Uh, any type of remnant grass, lily pad stalks and stems, and look for you know your typical uh, fall type patterns for, for some places in the country, and then start thinking about your winter type patterns. And believe it or not, in some places in the country, winter and pre-spawn are very similar. So kind of keep that in mind. Just a couple baits, two bait Tuesdays, some bait picks for you as we're in the month of December. I know most people are out shopping or in the deer stand in the woods. But if you're getting ready to launch that boat, go fishing or just walk down the bank, you need a couple baits. These are two baits I would consider for sure, the jig and the lipless crankbait. Thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel. And until next time, good fishing.